It keeps me from sleeping. Um, it keeps me from enjoying my day. If I were to describe my lower back pain, it would probably be excruciating. Now bend your knees a little bit. Lower back pain is common. About a quarter of American adults report having had it in the past three months. For Rose Patron, gentle stretching brings some relief. Imaging tests to find out the cause may seem like a good idea, but Dr. Deborah Korenstein says not so fast. The bottom line about imaging such as x-rays and CAT scans and MRIs is that they just don't help. MRIs give the most accurate view, but they often reveal spinal abnormalities that are not causing the pain. And the problem with MRIs is that those abnormalities that we see can lead to further testing and even invasive procedures that can actually harm people. In fact, a recent study showed that people who were quick to get an MRI for back pain were eight times more likely to have surgery, but they didn't recover any faster. CAT scans and x-rays have a downside, too. They expose people to radiation. That can increase the risk of cancer. It's been estimated that the CAT scans that are done in a single year in the United States for low back pain result in about 1,200 extra cases of cancer. Show me exactly where it is. But there are some times when imaging tests are needed. People with cancer or people with signs of a severe infection, the doctor will often want to do imaging. And in addition, in people with severe and worsening neurologic problems. For most who suffer, the good news is lower back pain usually eases in about a month with some simple strategies. Applying heat to relax muscles, taking over-the-counter pain relievers, and staying active are among the steps that Consumer Reports recommends. When your back hurts, it can be hard to stay active. But resting in bed for more than a day or so can actually make you feel stiff and slow your recovery. As for Rose Patron, a gentle workout keeps her back pain away and lets her get on with the day. Learn more at ConsumerHealthChoices.org.